Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome once again to Quick Shot Reviews. On today's review we're going to be looking at Three From Hell, a Rob Zombie, a original movie, the man that single-handedly butchered Michael Myers has continued to do so with his own characters and creations because um, some of the films, they were all right, they were okay, 31, maybe not. Um, I did watch Devil's Rejects, I thought that was okay, but it's it's sickening for the sake of being sickening, if you like. And uh, this film, I would say, it's on par with the worst big budget films. It's beautifully shot, actually. There's a shot right at the end, which is sweeping down a roadway and things. But it kind of there's a lot of things here that don't make sense. Um, at the end of Devil's Rejects, they were gunned down. They must have had like a hundred bullets each, um, and it just it, and then the, oh, the magic! Oh, they're still alive! Way uh, the magic of cinema and all that gubbins. Um, three from Hell. Um, I was expecting a lot better. Um, dare I say? Um, but I just found this movie utterly stupid and it's a horror movie and horror movies are in some part meant to be just daft but this was just it didn't make any sense it was nonsensical well, I suppose that's what he's going for the maniacs after all but um, you know even maniacs have a reason to stab someone you know um, but these these people do not Oh, I don't get it. There's a Rob Zombie. Uh, it's 5.6 rating on IMDb. It's a new thing I'm going to be doing as well as the new opening. Let me know what you think about the opening. I'm quite pleased with it. Sherry Moon Zombie plays Sherry Moon Zombie. She plays Baby Firefly and this film is all about Baby Firefly. Everything that happens is Baby Firefly. She is completely over the top and she takes everything away from everybody else. Danny Trejo is in this film. You can't remember Danny Trejo because Sherry Moon Zombie is just there all the time and everything goes through her. Um, you've got Bill Mos Mosley uh, playing Otis Driftwood as uh, and he also plays Chop Top, incidentally, in Chainsaw Massacre 2, one of my favourite daft horror movies sequels. Because, I mean, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was gruesome, you know. Got bad press because it was so gruesome, but uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I probably did, I will watch actually, because I really like that film. Uh, it's completely different. Um, well, we'll get back on, onto this. Uh, Sid Haig. Uh, Captain Spaulding, God bless. Um, he actually died um, five days after the release of this film, but uh, he's one shining light. He's brilliant, uh, and um, you know Otis Driftwood was really good as well. Uh, Jeff Daniel Phillip plays the warden. Um, it's shot in the sort of seventies, so he's got a big moustache and he's wearing flowery shirts and things like that. Um, Dee Wallace plays Greta, she is the prison guard looking after, or trying to kill rather, baby Firefly, uh, but she doesn't actually manage to do it, obviously. Um, Richard Brake plays Winslow Foxworth Coltrane, and um, yeah, a bit of a breakdown after being imprisoned for 10 years after the, after Devil's Rejects, after the 
stuff that happened in that. They are back again. Otis um, escapes prison in a routine transfer, of course, with Danny Trejo. And, uh, you know, goes to meet his mates, which is, which, mate, which is Winslow. They devise a plan to get Baby Firefly out of the prison that she's in and the rejects make their way down the road into Mexico killing countless people on their way nonsensically they have no reason to uh, like I say I know they're, they're maniacs but still give them some reason um, because the film becomes inept if they've not got a reason to do it in the first place and just being a maniac doesn't give that reason um, they find a place to stay but are soon bombarded by Mexican killers, Mexican, Mexican gang killers who are after the three from hell. This is, you know, a very big write up. Uh, only one group can come out alive and with experience, with the experience these three have, not including Sid Haig, Captain Spaulding does get executed very early on in this film so you don't actually get to see him and enjoy Captain Spaulding throughout the film um, it's just it'll just have to be one great killing joyride it wasn't great it wasn't a joyride there were certainly lots of killing um, can't recommend this film absolutely blinking awful one of the worst films I've seen uh, ever and considering we're in lockdown I'm not being picky with what I'm watching I'm just watching whatever's available to me and giving it a review but I'm going to give this a full moon out of a face on a tree I will give them that the coolest uh, kill and it wasn't even a kill um, they carved some woman's face off and hung it on a tree um, that was pretty gruesome but they didn't actually kill her because I mean I don't think they did they sort of panned away to her face and she was still alive and and then they went so there you go that is three from hell I can't really say much more about it it's nonsensical it's daft the warden tries to sorry the the um the lady who's the, oh, it's not, it's not the prison warden, she's one of the guards. There we go. Um, the main guard tries to have baby killed several times. Um, they even have a scene in there where she's up for parole. Clearly she, this lady should not be up for parole. She, If Sid Haig got gassed, then surely um, baby Firefly should have met the same fate. And it shouldn't have taken ten years to do so if you're an American and the death penalty is a thing. Um, don't agree with it, but that should be the thing. Three from Hell should have never happened. Let's face it, if they're going to do one for one character, they've got to do ones for the others. Um, so, there you go. Um, yeah, can't recommend it. Don't bother. Don't put yourself through it. I do it so you don't have to. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is the first quick shot review with the new intro. Like again, let me know what you think of that. I've been your host, the Reverend Luke Edwards. And I'll see you next time for some more quick shot reviews right here on Cheap Shot Entertainment. Goodbye.